Howdy, y'all. It's Uncle Larry, and I'm back in six years than ever. Yoka released a new video that all Christians should support McCain and Palin. It's about time he sees the light. You know, McCain, he's a servant of God because the only criteria to becoming a servant of God is saying that you're a servant of God. That's it. Once you say that, it, but you got to have emotions too. You got to say it with a heartfelt emotion. And that proves that you're a servant, a servant of God. See, when the Bible says, people that say, Lord, Lord, are, are not going into heaven, it's talking about people that are not using a heartfelt emotion. But if you're using heartfelt emotion, you're a real follower of the Lord. Forget logic. Forget, you know, actually bearing fruit. That's a bunch of bullcrap. See, McCain and Palin are the right people for the job. Why? Because McCain has good old American family values, like hunting and leaving the animals there by themselves on the floor, just leaving the bodies there. That's what we. That's what good hunters do. See, the bad hunters they eat animals. Those are called cannibals, by the way. Now, if you're a good hunter, you leave it. You leave it on the floor. You leave the bodies on the floor. That's what good hunters do. Now, cannibals are bad. Anyway, uh, Yoke up, you're absolutely right. Uh, switching over, finally seeing the light that McCain's, he's not a flip-flopper. And if he is, he's a flip-flopper for Jesus. I just went over to Sports Authority and bought myself some new McCain flip-flops. Uh, they, they work pretty well in the, in, the, in the puddles. Like my feet don't get quite as wet anymore thanks to McCain but anyway that's not the issue you brought up abortion you know obviously it's better to go to war and and you know invade innocent civilians than it is to abort some fetuses you know that's what moral people do that's what the Bible says the Bible says God commands people to kill like innocent people like it, it commands you to, to like attack cities and stuff that God doesn't like. And since we know the criteria for being a servant of God is just saying it with heartfelt emotions, the heartfelt emotions prove God said it. So if Bush says, Jesus told me in, to invade Iraq, but he says it with compassionate conservatism, you know that's Jesus really talking. Because Jesus doesn't like Iraq. He doesn't like people that don't believe what he believes. He, uh, that's how religion works. See, if if uh, other people believe different things, they're automatically evil, just by beliefs. Doesn't matter if they they good, do good actions or good works. It's not about works. It's about faith. That's what the Bible says. You know, even though some parts it says different otherwise, but. But see, those are not contradictions. Those are just uh, metaphors and uh, poetic license. You know, you know poems. They have the license to contradict themselves, but they're really not contradictions. You know, so you, you, you Bible skeptics gotta stop being skeptical. Start being honest. You know, skepticism is dishonest. It's like saying, "I don't like you. I don't believe in you because I question you." It's like saying, I don't have faith. I just question. That's what skepticism do. Skepticizers. They're like womanizers, but they're skepticizers. You know, they, they womanize skeptic people. They go into science labs, and they hit on science teachers, and they're like, you're skeptical. So am I. Want to get busy? You know, that's how they do it. So yoke up, keep up the good work. You know, vote for McCain, finally. I told you he was the man of God. All it takes is to say you're the man of God and you become the man of God. And uh, that's that's pretty much it for, for McCain. And, uh, you know, what some other issues I can talk about right here? Oh, Caroline, she says that. Oh, because Palin's on the ticket. That's better. You know, Palin saved McCain. 
You know, she persuaded McCain to see the light. But McCain's easy to persuade. Uh, you know, imagine Congress, who's all Democratic. They might persuade uh, McCain to change his mind on a lot of things. So you got to keep a watchful eye for that. But thank God for Palin. See, Palin's a strong conservative. She's unshaken. She has unshakable faith. She unquestionably unshakes herself. You know, when an earthquake happens, she's the only woman standing. You know, the ground could split in half. And she'll just be right there. She'll, she'll have like a, a split. She'll split her legs wide open. But she'll still be intact. That's how unshakable her faith is. So, that's how your faith should be too, by the way. Unshakable. Like, for instance, you know, you're at a concert and the music's too loud, but your faith is so strong that the sound can't vibrate on your body. It's like, it's like sound repellent. It keeps the vibrations away because your faith is so strong. Faith has power, you know. It's like, imagine like a fist coming out of your head and keeping the vibrations out. Or like a hand, like sort of keeping it out. Pushing it out. That's how faith works. It's, it's strong. It's a strong house. See, Jesus had a, an analogy where he talked about the house built on sand and the house built on a rock. If your house is built on a rock, even if an earthquake splits the rock in half, your sandcastle will still stay floating in the air. That's amazing. That's the power of Jesus right there. So, you people that are skeptical of McCain and Palin, and, and you other people like PETA and uh, what's the other people that don't like animals or don't like animals to be dead, you know, accusing McCain and Palin for having animals and not eating them just as a decoration. You know, that's what good families do, you know. They use as fur and all that stuff. And uh, that's actually, you know, more ethical than, you know, abortions. Because even though a fetus can't feel a thing, and animals can, you know, humans have a, the divine right to do whatever they want. Like a soldier in God's army says, you can do whatever you want with the environment if you're a human. The Lord gave you the, the, the right to do that. So... All you people, you need to start coming to Jesus and you need to start voting for McCain. See, McCain's a true follower of God. You know, he wants to stay in Iraq for a long time. Because he has nothing to do. You know, he, he got bored in Vietnam. He's like, you know, I had so much fun in Vietnam that I just want to stay in Iraq. I want to do it all over again. I want to have that sort of a emotional roller coaster all over again. And that's why he's staying in Iraq. So, you, need, you people need to start being more open and honest and start adopting some family values even though we don't know what they are like when interviewed by John Stewart nobody really knew what small town values were but that's not what matters what matters is that they're there see you you skeptics you try to go around scenarios your arguments are circular it's not that our logic is circular it's that your arguments are your questions are circular you know, you can't accept something that is. You, I, you know, something can be because it is. You know, I'm wearing a hat because I am, because I feel like it. That's how things work. Some things are because they are. You know, I am what I am. Uh, or the Bible, the God said, I am that I am. See, circular reasoning is real reasoning. It's solid. It's built on a rock. Like Peter. He's built on a rock. His name's like a little rock. But Petros is a big rock. Anyway, I didn't come to talk about rocks, but you know what I'm saying. You know, vote for McCain, vote for Palin, and uh, your life will be better. You'll, you'll, you'll get like a golden star in heaven right away. You know, you'll get like A+. plus. Remember A+, plus right there? That's what you'll get. An A+. plus. So keep voting. Keep voting on and, uh, and and what's what's up with that guy, the black guy that now he's he thinks he's the real father of the baby, or maybe he is, I don't know. You know, get back to me on that. I want to know what's going on there. All right, so peace out, everybody.